What's up guys? We are back today with a little robot. Uh, this is the first robot that I've ever made. I had a lot of fun making it, so let's hop right into how I made it. Pretty basic components being used. We got an ultrasonic sensor, the two motors that you can see right there. I forgot to pick them up, but then we used an Arduino Uno and an Arduino Uno motor shield that was sold by Adafruit. First step for this project was to cut some red and black wires down to size so that I could use them to solder onto the motor. The red connection obviously going to the positive, the black connection going to the negative. After that, you gotta strip the wires so that you can actually attach them to the motors and then solder them on. Now, this was my first time soldering anything literally ever, so do not judge me too hard, but it got the job done and I think it honestly wasn't too bad. After getting the motors soldered together, you gotta actually fit them into the chassis of the robot. Um, this robot design was nice because it actually, the motors just fit in, pop in place, and they should stay there by themselves at the very least until you can get some of the other components put in. The uh, bottom motor was definitely giving me some trouble. I couldn't get it to sit in exactly how I wanted to, as you can see here. However, the top motor just snapped into place perfectly. All right, after getting the motors into place, the next thing you gotta do is fit the 9 volt battery in place. This chassis is designed so that you can fit the motors on top and bottom, and then the volt battery goes right in the middle. Now, before you can actually put it in, you gotta get a battery connector on it so that we can wire it to the motor shield. Not a big deal, literally just clamps on like that, and then uh, we don't need to talk about how hard I struggled shoving this thing in because, oh my god, it was rough. Look at that, first try. Anyways, it fits in nice and snug. Everything holds itself in place pretty easily. Uh, so after that, we're gonna go on and put on these wheels. These are called the slave wheels. Obviously, with them being called that, we had to go with a neutral color like green. <laughs> Anyways, two of the wheels are just attached to the chassis like that and roll freely, and then two of them are on the motor. Now, if you're wondering what the hell I'm doing here, it's my prints did not come out exactly the way that I wanted them to, and the holes where the motors are supposed to go in did not fit, so I decided to heat it up with a soldering iron and then shove them on and melt them into place, which actually worked perfectly. As you can see, mwah. The next step is to actually hold all this stuff in place. So we got some 3D printed little battery holders. You run the uh, wires through there and then they just snap into place and should hold the motors and battery down so you don't have to worry about them going anywhere. All right, after getting the battery holders into place, I slid the Arduino Uno into place on top. It fit nicely into the chassis. I made sure to run all the wires for the motors out the front and then the battery out the side because that's where the connections on the motor shield are. Now all these pins that I'm pointing out, I had to solder onto this uh, motor shield, but it's very easy to do. They just, you look at where they need to line up and you line them up. Then you push the motor shield into place like you're seeing here. No big deal, but you do want to be careful that you don't bend those pins because then you got to do a whole bunch of stuff. I then cut the wires from the motors uh, to the right size that I needed them to be and then screwed them into place, which I didn't get on camera because BAM! Dead. After screwing the wires for the motors into place and giving them a test, I went on to attach the tracks. So the tracks all fit into each other and then I connected them with a piece of filament to hold them in place. After that, the last step was to attach the ultrasonic sensor. I didn't actually wire this thing up and use it yet in this video because everything that I was doing in this video I wanted to understand and that was a bit out of my expertise as of yet. But I did upload some code that I did understand to get this thing going and uh, here you can see it running. I had a great time making this project. It's definitely going to be revisited and upgraded in the future, but now it's time to move on from here and on to the next project. <laughs> 